actually. What's up, guys? It's Kenya time, 94th country, taking this bad boy for another adventure. We're flying from Miami to Doha. Doha, eight hour connect, and then over to Nairobi. That is the capital of Kenya, also known as Nairobi. No, I'm joking with you, but that's what I was told once in Africa, right? I have a crazy day today. It's insane. And then the plane eventually, right? Here we go. So I'm gonna show you how I pack. I know I've done this before, I did it before Iraq, but I'm gonna do it again today you because. Perfect. All right, so yeah. I'll move your chair in. Perfect. So I'm gonna show you how I pack, right? I only travel with Victoria Knox luggage. I actually have uh, like three of these. I was sponsored by them for two years and they gave me a bunch, right? So here I have my laundry bag and inside I have shoes. That's the extra pair. Can I say one thing? Yeah, tell me. I just wanna tell you this because basically your line is right here. Great. So you just know anything like. Okay. Perfect. Without further ado. Without further ado. Let's do this. Let's rock and roll. Going to my 94th country. To be honest with you, I'll tell you, my friends, I don't even know what I'm doing over there yet. I'm like, I'm getting ready for this trip. Okay, so let me show you how I pack. So I brought, this is like pajamas, right? Just a shirt and pants. This is only pajama. If I have to see anybody, if I have to see tassels at night or if I see my guide at night, I'll just be wearing that, right? But if I'm in my room, I'm in underwear. I, I'm gonna always bring a bathing suit from now on because <laughs> multiple times I've gone on trips without bathing suits and I need a bathing suit, so I'm taking a bathing suit, taking it with me. This is another t shirt, uh, Hustle Travel Repeat. This one's like destroyed. Actually, I don't even think, yeah, this one, this one is like made for the gym. Look, look, look. Right? Cool, right? No problem. Okay, so pants. These are not cargo. These are the only nice pair of pants I've taken on, with me on the trip. I'm not even, I don't take jeans with me anymore. I stop with jeans. Because the belt and everything, I just don't want to. I got two pairs of these. So these are the ones I wear almost every day. This time I'm gonna be washing because last time we got too sweaty and it starts to hurt. Like, uh, got another pair, right? Brand new pair, this is blue. It's a little, it's a little, yeah. So that was black. This one's like a dark blue. Never worn it before. Let me take off the tags. So just so you see, never worn these before. Let's throw away the garbage right here. So the reason I wear these type of pants on all, all the trips is very easy. They're dark, so I can basically match almost any jersey with it. And then, um, you know, I have pockets for anything I buy or any extra batteries. Like, so I always wear with me, uh, I have it over here, I'll bring it up now. My battery pack, it's basically a fanny pack full of batteries, right? I always have to have it, because I'm rocking with this bad boy, and when I need a new battery, I just open, close, put the, the dead battery here. I don't wear a backpack anymore, I stop. No sound will happen. No, I hear sound. Sound? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm missing a few. Then one, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 
Still missing a few. I have to get that at home. And now I got the jerseys, right? So for each trip, I try to take two jerseys per day. Reason for that is I want to be able to just choose whatever I feel in that moment. I look at the jerseys and I just like, okay, today I feel like this. Or if something happened last night in terms of, a, I don't know, a country uh, or a team winning, I'll, I'll wear that jersey that day. I just It sparks conversation, right? So here I have the Miami one. So I'm going to show you. And I got some new ones, Nate. He, Marley, Marley, my man, Marley. Marley sent it to me. This is my, one of my favorites that he sent me. This is from Palermo. Oh, no. Is this Palermo? Yeah, it's Palermo. All right. I don't even know because there's no advertising on it. There's nothing. This is a Real Madrid one he sent me last time, but I haven't actually worn it in a, on a trip. So I'm going to wear it on this trip. Well, at least I have it as selection. I actually have four Real Madrids. He sent me a bunch of other Real Madrids. Super nice guy. Uh, he, by the way, look what he gave me, man. Is it a lay? Persepolis. <laughs> so I'm, I, yeah, cause, cause I am, I'm flying Qatar Airways, and because I'm flying Qatar Airways, I have to wear the mask entering the flight, and exiting the flight, and then not really in the airport. So I have this with me, right? I also have Brazil because I'm representing Brazil hard this year because I believe they're the winners. I believe they're the winners, bro. I don't think any team's gonna beat this team. Maybe France, maybe. Belgium, maybe. Uh, Belgium, France, man, Th those two. And then I did by mistake, oh, uh, here, let me get, this is another don't Miami. Argentina, dude, I don't know, bro, I don't know, I don't know. He could go Godzilla, you never know, man. We'll Depends. see, we'll see. He, he, goes, super, he goes super sane, bro. He could go super sane, it's his last He goes World super Cup. sane, like every, every match he scores like five, he always, dude. He doesn't usually do that well on the international stage, though, but. No, lately he hasn't been doing well. Uh, I don't even know how he won the Ballon d'Or last. Oh, you can see like maybe he's got one more. You know? All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna model for you guys what I received yesterday. I received a lot yesterday from this guy. Too many, bro. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this right here. All right. I told him. Uh, Is he not there? He just came in. Yeah, I just wanna make sure. But I told him we're going live. I told him we're going live soon. I was doing a million things trying to get ready for the live. All right, so he sent me this one, dude, which I'm like, dude, I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear it, but it's really cool. This is uh, the German soccer team's basketball jersey. Look, the national team of Germany, their basketball jersey. What do you think? Yeah, that's cool, bro. That's cool, right? Yeah, man. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> that's cop. would never go away. Huh? Is there anything on the back? The number four. Number four. What do you guys think? Cool? So he sent me this one. By the way, in case you guys are new here and you don't know, I have a partnership with my friend Marley Mugi. And Marley has a eBay shop. So you know what? This is the one I'm not taking on a trip because I'm not going to wear on a trip for sure. And it's more collector's item. So separating that guy. You know, David, for some reason, you have... Twenty-four likes, fifty-five people watching. Please, please, guys, give me some likes. Give me some likes. And also, Brandon, please leave the newsletter link here. If you guys don't know, every Monday I come out with a newsletter. It's very simple. Just click the link, sign up for the newsletter. You get the newsletter every single Monday, and there you'll be able to see announcements, uh, trips that I'm uh, planning, uh, content I'm dropping, destinations, uh, dishes I'm um, promoting. And just always, it's all about travel and inspiring people to be better. Uh, that's, that's what we do here. David's been here. And, dude, I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for this one he sent me. By the way, you guys are going to love this one. This is my favorite one I've ever gotten. Favorite one you've ever gotten? Favorite jersey I've ever right, received. coming out, bro. Coming out. And it's really tight. I mean, yeah, it's. But it's cool. But 
It's cool. I mean, it just means you need to get more yells, bro. And you're, and you're, I think I think like this, bro. I think like this, like. Some nasty, some nasty. Watch, you want to see something cool? Hey, you, you don't know about this, Nate, Brandon. You guys don't know about this. Watch, watch. When I was when I was younger, I was Goku. Come here, come here. It's like Vegeta, Super Saiyan three. All right, let me let me cut this thing. <laughs> let me cut this. Where's the? Do I have a scissor up there? Do I have a scissor? I brought them. I'd be in a really good mood. No, I, I brought a pair of scissors, but yeah, so this is my favorite jersey ever. And he has this, he has for sale, but in a bigger size. Like a way big size. How cool is this? Yeah, it does have Goku. That's pure anime. Pure Japanese anime. This is, this is amazing. This represents uh, Japanese culture to the finest, bro. Hey, man, but, and, and look at this. No, I'm not Bruce Lee, Adrian. Come on now. Bruce Lee is... Bruce Lee is not... So, tri trivia question, is Bruce Lee Japanese or Chinese? He's Chinese, though. I know, but if anybody's Kong, saying he's bro. Japanese, dude, they're wrong. Yeah, he's from Hong Kong. Yeah, of course. Is Jackie Chan Chinese or, or Japanese? He's Chinese. Uh, isn't he Japanese? No, he's Chinese. He's Chinese. Yeah, he's Chinese, Chinese probably. Jackie Chan is Chinese. So is uh, Jet Li? Yeah, yeah, of course, bro. Three. Of course. The big three, man. They're, they're, they're the three goats of Kung Fu. We're doing this one. I don't even know where this is from. Ip Man, the guy who plays Ip Man. Uh, what is this? Like, I have, I have like spider webs. Am I like Spider Man here? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Packing it up, packing it up, packing it up. Man. Packing it up, packing it up. So, but first, first, um, first amazing comment here in the chat regarding this question wins. The new David's been here, hot and spicy. So I'm gonna separate this to the side. All right, so this is the question. This is the question I got for you, okay? Oh, Jackie Chan is also from Hong Kong. I didn't know he was. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all Cantonese. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so the question is hot, okay? What is the hottest dish you've ever had? Where did you have it? Tell me the name and tell me how you felt the next day. Best comment in the chat wins. I'll tell you, my hottest ever part of the entire trip to Bhutan I had a what is it called emmy daxi uh and then uh this my god I just I just saw all the dishes today crazy but every single day the next day four in the morning I'm in the bathroom that's how it was To move it. Well, I was gonna say, especially not your parents. No, but just to yeah. move it. Yeah, oh. just to move it only. I, I think you guys, I think you guys are gonna love this one. Look at this one. This is this is a special edition. That's pretty cool, man. Real Madrid, bro. Special edition Benzema. Benzema. Damn, bro, that's cool, man. Special that's edition. Cool. I got three Benzema now. That looks really coming cool, up. Man. Fudge. Fudge. Think of this guy. That was a good save. I say. Hey, man, he won the Ballon d'Or. Wow. He just that's won cool. it. For his age, it's crazy that he he's still. Still a top, bro. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What's after Kenya? Who's, people are asking that? Oh, so what do you guys think? Hold on. Official. Official. This is an official jersey. Authentic. For sale. On the David's Been Here jersey shop on eBay. I'm serious. Uh, after Kenya is Saudi Arabia. By the way, I could definitely do voices. I was thinking about it. I would be like... Listen to some low jazz, 94.4. What up from Eric Slicer 2? What up? Good evening from Bangkok. What up, Bangkok? Sawadee ka. Kapun kap. Cool, says the chat about your jersey. Just one word, cool. Cool? Uh, Look at this one. Look at this one. Dude, this guy sent me, he sent me way too many.
And we have a few of these official ones. Look at this one. This is brand new. This is 2020, 223, uh, the black one. This is like really brand new. What do you think? Do I look like Benzema? What up, New Orleans? <laughs> what up, New Orleans? It's been a while since I've gone to the Bayou. I love New Orleans. Oh, man. French Quarter, man. French Quarter. My first memory of New Orleans back in 2000, let me think, 2004, 2005. Oh, so 2005, I went to Mardi Gras. Got sloshed for three days. I forgot how I even got home. That's how bad it was. So how many jerseys I got, dude? I think that's enough for the trip. No, I think I got to take more. Got to take more. Oh, I got one more here. Got one more here. So yeah, guys, Kenya. Kenya's going to be epic. I'm doing Nairobi, Mombasa, and then I'm going to a national park to see tribes and see some animals. And that is 10 full days. What's more crazy is that when I arrive, when I arrive, it's 7 a.m. arrival. It's straight. That's the first day. 7 a.m. we start, and we got 12 hours straight of just grinding. We're going to do like a market, food. Just get crazy over there. Before Katrina and my ex-wife literally like escaped Katrina, she was there. She came to Miami. Katrina hit. She went back to see her stuff. Her entire house was like throwaway. The, after 10 days, the, the fridge, because there was no power, the fridge, they couldn't even open it. It smelled like death. Like they had to throw the whole fridge outside and just to the curve. Crazy. Yeah, dude, people lost everything. What do you think of this one? This is another official. These are all official, by the way. We only sell, well, we sell uh, non-official as well, but most of them are official, like 99%, because this guy only collects official. Look, you even have you even have this. This is like, so always white. This is the home jersey for Real Madrid. This is what they're playing with at home. You got Benzema, the Ballon de Oro winner, right? Benzema, if you guys don't know who Benzema is, Benzema is the best player from France. He's gonna he's the one going to drive France to the to the finals. We... We think, because France is, France, yeah, I mean, yeah, look, look at that team. Sorry, guys, technical difficulties, somebody was calling me. Hey, may I ask this? You know, we should put it on, do you, we should do it on, uh, I can't. We got to put it on, do not disturb. Do not disturb mode. Yeah, crazy, crazy. All right, guys, hold on a sec. Let me see. My, my neighbor, which this literally, guy's... tell me. No. I was gonna I was gonna just knock on my neighbor's door and see what she needed. Huh? Alright guys, so how many do I have? I, I don't have enough. So I gotta take a few more jerseys with me, alright? So here <laughs> this is just a little bit of my outfit, right? So I have a huge jersey collection, if you don't know. I was collecting before, and then I got this uh, partnership with this guy. And every month, he'll send me five or six new ones. So I do not buy anymore. Um, I should, because there's so many I really want. But you know, the cool thing with jerseys, I don't know how much you know, Nate, but jerseys, the price you buy for, if you buy authentic, and you buy a player like Benzema, uh, or Ronaldo, or Messi, no matter what, no matter what, the price stays the same or higher in the future. So no matter what, you just can't wear it and destroy it and mess it up, right? That's the only thing. Um, yeah, because I have a, a few uh, Cristianos that I haven't worn in like four years. And dude, they're worth money now. It's crazy if I want to sell it. So I always take Italy, but you know what? Italy's not coming with me on this trip because they, they failed me on this. On this uh, bastards failed me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm not taking Ghana because <laughs> I'm going to Kenya. So if I take, if I take the Ghana jersey, people are going to get so mad at me in Kenya. I got Oman. No, I'm not going to take that. I'll take the Miami one. This is the Miami pink. I'll take this one in case. If I feel pink that day, I'll wear pink. That's how I think about it, right? Um, I got over here Trinidad. No, Persepolis. I like this one, though. I like it, so you know what? I'll wear it. If I feel like I should, right? I love the pink. You guys don't know this is the number one team in Iran. Number one team. This is the team you should root for. Dude, I got like acid reflux right now starving 
today. I, I was like, dude, I was tempted. When I got the coffee, I was tempted to get an empanada. And I said, hell no. Keep this diet. Uh, I take Venezia. I won't take. I won't take. Should I take Italy? Italy? No, no, not Italy. Not Italy. India. I, I, I always take, for, I take like almost two per day they're, and they're super light, you know? Yeah, man, because if I want to have a selection and I don't know, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I still need like, I'll take a few more. How do you feel about eggnog? Eggnog, I love eggnog. And when you spike it, even better. Even better, bro. All right, <laughs> dreamsy, uh, hilarious. I, I'm I'm gonna take two Indias. I'm gonna take the pink and the blue. This is the blue. We actually have these for sale at David uh, David's been here eBay jersey shop. Uh, so they're like 50 bucks. These not so bad. My boy bought this shit in bulk. Sorry, excuse my language, my French. He bought a lot in bulk. So the way my, my guy works, like every other person who has a shop like this, they get in bulk, right? They buy X amount, and that's it. They sell like crazy. They buy a good price, and they basically double. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What is it? I, I, I love the Kosovo, but you love the blue, right? The blue. I, I love the blue, and this is Kosovo. Makes a little no sense over there, except... Uh, to get some more attention from Kosovars. Kosovars. Did anybody ever leave a comment uh, to win the sauce? Or did we not get that? No. No. no comment. Not one person wanted to win the sauce, huh? I didn't, I didn't. Sad stuff, sad stuff. How many people we got here today? That's 36. 36. 36. You know what, 36 people? I love you. Thank you for being here. Let me see. Here we have the, oh, so this is still this video, huh? Let me get to the live. I'm going to watch the live here while, while no, we're... No, no, no. no? Your, your quality is already so bad. Oh, because this was on the whole time, bro. I'll turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. Turn it off. That's probably the reason, right? So take this out. And we're then... The Dreamsy, they're not available yet. If you were in the States, I would send you. But unfortunately, you're not here, and it's impossible. The, bro the problem is, Brandon, I'm sending you a package of things... That Oh, huh? Hey, here, hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me get my other phone. Call her back. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, sorry guys, I gotta take a quick call. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So that is my bag. Uh, just gotta organize it. Let me organize it while I take a call. What happened? I think is that I'm on a live, and every time you call, we have to ignore it, or the call, the live keeps dropping. Tell me, I'm here. You need another code, right? In this second. Okay. 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 One sec. I got a code, guys. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. Another one. But I'll stay on the call. I'll stay on the call. Okay. Let me check. David, David's been here? All right, let me check. Mm. Not yet. All right, text it to me as soon as you get it. Think that I'm on a live, Anna. Oh, let me, let me see, why isn't it coming through? All right, it's, it's here. Eight, uh, so zero, eight, eight. 
two, two, four. Bye bye. All right. Well, all right. So this is it. So then I just pack everything in here, and super easily, I do this. Pack everything. Look at that. It all fits on one side, right? I even put this here, and that's that. So this is ready. Only thing missing right now is my toiletries. And that's what I'm wearing, guys. And I know I'm not going to do anything like that I have to dress up fancy. So I'm going to take anything fancy. No jeans, no nice shirt, just work mode. Uh, so that's it for this. Let me get my, my carry-on. Show you what I got my carry-on. Right here. Good. You know what? There's actually stuff missing for the big bag. I need to put I need to put this in here. Hold on, guys. I wish there was a way to switch, switch, switch. Hey, so for this one, like this. What are you trying to do? Where is it? Uh, this one. Yeah. So guys, so while I'm on the trip, I take these with me, right? So I think I'm missing a piece though right here. For this one, I'm missing one more of these. Hmm. It has to be there. I mean, there's this right there. If there's another one, but just this piece. So this is for going live and then also doing a few like shots for the documentary we we're filming. So you say this with me, All right? This is in. I think it might be in the other room. Probably. All right. So this one still needs the piece. And then I get over here to my, you know what? I take this with me in case it's cold. I'll take that with me. Try not to go any more overboard. I want to keep that side, half of that empty because I will be buying some gifts and I want to have that empty. And if I want to, I can actually take two more massive bags just like that with Qatar Airways because of my status. I'm platinum pro. About to be executive platinum, I think I need 60,000 miles, but that's also like credit card paid, flying miles, I get double miles for food when I use my credit card. So getting there is not going to be so bad and I have until February 28th to get there, whatever the last day of February is. So I'll be executive platinum next year. So this is my fanny pack, this is what I use when I'm traveling. So this is basically how I roll, like this, and then I got the camera. And this is it. Just like that. In the markets like this, guys. Brandon is saying when you were telling him something earlier, the audio cut out. Do you remember what it was? No idea, bro. No idea. Here we go. Just like this. Shooting really easily. Where's the where's the tripod for this? It must be in here, right? Yeah, I am. No? I to out, well, I want to take everything out and see what I have in here. So I'm taking it with me. I have hot sauce in here. I have hot sauce has been sitting here forever. All right. Yeah, the camera's staying here, right? I need the tripod for the camera. Yeah, I said I'm, I'm putting together a package for you, so I didn't want to send it a sauce. I never go to the, the, Brandon, I never go to the, what's it called, the post office, so. Next time I go to the post office, I'll send it to you. Today is going to be impossible, though. Um, Trying try to think what I was going to say about this. Oh, so this is the, the gear, right? So I'm going to show you guys the camera. This is the tripod. The state is number one country to live in other than the USA. Spain. Spain's my number one country. Spain's the number one country to live in outside of here. Super safe. Super affordable, super clean, amazing food, history, you got everything, you got everything. You got mountains, you got beaches. But this is the this is the gear, right? So this is my shotgun mic. So this gets all the the audio from in front. And then I also am gonna have my uh, my DJI. We have a road mic that, that Nate has. Mine died on like two trips ago, I think in Iraq, they fried in the heat. 
So I have to get the DJI because we wanted to test that one out and it actually works really well. So we got that one here. So I have both. So I can talk behind camera and you pick it up perfectly. And then whoever's talking in front will get it as well. And then I have this is a super, super heavy duty mini tripod by Manfredo. This one can carry 15 pounds. This is a little less than 15 pounds. So it's perfect. So I roll like this all day, right? This is how I roll. Just walking around like, like and then just like, all right, we're going to a market and we're going to do this and that. And this is what we're going to eat. Let's go. And then just like direct. And I know where the eye is. So wherever the eye is pointed is what I'm filming, right? So I know. I think lots of years doing it. And we've made it here. Huh? This is a beast. This is Bugatti. Sort of, sort of, sort of. Yeah, this sounds going to be better. So I don't need this Manfrotto. I got... This is my other mini tripod. This one we put on a table with a second camera to get like side shots when I'm eating. Sometimes it's too much when we film like five minutes straight, but we can always pull from that and make another piece of content. So definitely worth it. Taking this with me. I'll tell him. I mean, the good thing is that all he has to do is, is know that it's recording. You know, yeah, the, like the main thing. Like All right, so I have a lot of plugs here. I don't know what they are, Nate, but I guess we'll figure it out. Like even this piece, I have this piece right here. This is for the old mic. So I've got to sell that or put it up here and use it for some other purpose. I got all this trash. Let me just get rid of trash. I hate having trash in my office. Put that away. Okay, what else do we need for Kenya? Take all this out. Uh, so goggles. If you guys haven't seen my videos of me talking about these goggles, the reason I got these is because I'm filming in fire a lot. And there was one trip, what was it? I think it was Guyana in Marakabai. We were filming, uh, what is it? Uh, some pot dish, I forgot, some rice dish and my eyes were just like flaming and for two days they dripped water so from now on if i'm gonna get into the smoke i gotta have these on that's it gotta have them on so this is coming with me no matter what bro no matter what this extra fuzzy that's for the old thing right so these are all the chargers for the new camera and then this is the the old auxiliary it's a bunch of old auxiliaries so me and Nate are going to go through this and see what I'm going to take on this trip. But I have to go in here and say, okay, so this for sure, this is batteries, chargers, right? Charger, charger, perfect. Then I got here, this is an extra, extra cards. So I just take this for sure. I'm leaving this, leaving that. I don't know, this one we have to go through it, Nate. This, this filter to see if I need it. Okay, I'm leaving all this. This hard drive, I have to see it. Taking, taking, taking. So this goes here. So I just start packing, right? And start seeing exactly what I need and try not to overdo it. I don't want to take extra stuff that I don't need on this trip. Like some of these, like these like wall chargers, I bring them in case and they always have like extra pieces. So like, see? Danny. What up, Danny? Sorry, are you filming? Uh, I am filming something. Oh, sorry. But you might be credited already. Okay. She was on with the bank and they were... Was it every month or was it just this month? She'll go back and be sure. So okay. So either you get a full credit and reduce or you get... Sorry. No problem. Thanks. Thanks. I, fly, Thank I fly to us. Kenya today. Oh, have a wonderful trip. Thanks, man. I think you'll be shocked with the, the, the food. food that was the, food. The people are good people. I know, I know. Have you ever been to Never. Be, I've been to Africa many times, but not this place. I, I feel you're going to have a special trip. I know, I know. Enjoy, man. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. Now I have no detective in the building. Oh, dude, dude. I need to put another one here. By the way, uh, yeah. Uh, yesterday there was, there was shit in the hallway, and I thought he came, but I think hopefully it was another homeless or cracked his shoe. Oh my God. And we're we're changing the pin pad on both sides within a week or two. When okay. Pack, okay. Just to one extra step. Have a safe trip. Perfect. Hey, Thanks. thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right, guys. Sorry, that was my my landlord to my office. Uh, we had a problem in this building. 
don't want to get too deep into it, but somebody was breaking in and breaking into sp places to sleep. Very, very sad situation. Okay, so got all this. I have a few different adapters. And by the way, I love doing these lives because during these lives, we have moments like that, which you wouldn't get any other way, right? So this stays, I'll take this in case because that's for the mic and I'll take an extra one of these and then all this stays here, bro. So I'm gonna leave this here and we'll go through it, you and me, just to make sure, uh, Nate, this is all fine. I gotta charge this guy. Gotta leave this guy charging right now. Hmm. Are we gonna see you at the airport too? You're gonna, yeah, most likely. Let me see what time I get there and how much time I have, but most likely I will go live at the airport when I go to the airport. It is exhausting, it is hard, but it's so worth it. So freaking worth it. So worth it to be able to travel and, um, you know, elevate the mind. Put it on, put it on a trip. <laughs> when you're on a trip, you're tripping, straight up. Hold on guys, let me just drop one more thing over here. Gotta check this hard drive. Make sure I got something good here. I don't know what that is, gotta look at that. Or this is just the cover, right? Oh, this stays then. And uh, let me see. <clears throat> feeling good, feeling good. I'm thinking about lunch, but I'm starving. But today I just wanted to go through this. Uh, and I, you know, I could do something really cool for you guys. So let's do something really cool. Because this is something I've been wanting to do that I haven't done. So let me show you Kenya. I'm going to move this. Is that good? No, it has to go down. Woo. It has to even go lower than that. I think that's good. I think that's good, right? Uh, you, yeah, you have a delay. You have a delay. So I'm going to go. I do have a cameraman, but. So Tassos is coming with me on trips, but I give him my two other cameras and then he helps me with intro and outro and in certain pieces of the video, but I want to always keep that POV perspective. That POV perspective is really game changer. When you mix both, uh, and I think one of the best people to do it is Will Smith, um, but it, it's just, it's a great combo. Uh, film like that and then like handing off the camera. So we're getting into that mode. You'll see it when the I, Iraq footage. Barbados, I was alone, Iraq, Tass was with me, Dominica, Nate was with me on this trip, Tass was with me, Tass was with me in also Saudi. So Tass was coming with me almost everywhere. Uh, we have a, you know, good, um, a good understanding of how the workflow moves. Uh, I've worked with him multiple times. So we're just getting, we're just getting started, right? So let me show you Kenya. Let me see how, how good this could be. So. Tell me if I'm, if I'm doing it fine. I'm gonna show you how I know it. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you so much. Thanks, bro. Thank you so much, Chris. Chris? Prince. Prince. Ah. Prince, Prince K. Okay, and then, let me see. I'm, uh, I'm not, to be honest. I'm not going to train up for carnival. I'm, I have so many other things I have to do. So I don't, you know what? This is it. This is this is all from memory, bro. Uh, I think it's Ethiopia. Am I getting it right? Look at a map. Look at a map. Uh, I'm just, uh, sorry, hold on. Uh, let me see it. I guess here. All right, you're going to see mine right now. Uh, I mean, not really, no. It's, it's 
I did it wrong? I mean, I did it sideways. I'm just going off of memory. Yeah, so, I mean, the legs, if you draw the line from it should be like this, right? Like something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's just down. Like, if you draw the squiggly line down. This one? Something like that. All right. No, it's more like, it has this, like, that's all fun. I mean, that's all fun, but like this one. It's not actually. Okay, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, because Kenya's actually just has a little section in there. Okay, so it's fine. But this is this is sort of like what I was getting at with. Uh, by the yeah, way, this no. is this is after me looking at this, like uh, I think one time I really looked at the map, but um, I just always try to know where I'm going and I understand what's around me. You know, whatever. It's also more like a chicken head in the uh, northeast corner. Dude, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does like it does like a weird thing here, right? Well, chicken. It looks like a chicken head. It's like this or something. Yeah, something like that. Over here? It's fine, dude. It's That's fine. Too, and then the other side, there's another little thing there. Yeah, but it's cool. I mean, I got this correct, right? Ethiopia's north. Uganda's over here. Kenya's smack center. Somalia. You got the uh, Indian Ocean. Tanzania, right? So it borders one, two, three, four countries. It also borders the Indian Ocean. And then you have Nairobi here. And then from Nairobi to Mombasa... Like this? Yeah, it's more like that. In fact, there's also like a thing there. Like that. Okay. That, that's actually, there it is. Now it's like, like a chicken head? Now it's like literally pretty oh. But it's good, right? So, yeah, now you're good. four hour train or one hour flight, even shorter than an hour, but he said an hour. And then, so this is the plan. This is my plan, okay? We don't really have a plan, but the plan is happening. <laughs> So my fixer, um, he is from Uganda. Well, we're going to do Uganda, and he specializes in six different countries. But I said, let's do Uganda because you're from there. I've never been. No one's done it. Let's do Uganda. Guess what? About a month ago when we were going to buy tickets and get everything ready for this trip, an Ebola outbreak started, and it's gotten worse and worse. And now they've had the official, like, the first few people who have died of Ebola in the capital. Okay. And, um, you know, I just made a decision, um, you know, obviously praying for those people, but I made a decision that I can't put myself at that, in that type of risk. It's like 99% fatality rate to go to Uganda. Uh, sorry, to get Ebola. If you get Ebola, it's 99% fatality rate. So I didn't want to risk it. So I said, let's not go to Uganda. Talk to my fixer. And I asked him, uh, Obed. <coughs> His name is Obed. I asked him, what other countries can we do? He gave me a list. Tanzania was one, Kenya was another. There was like three other ones, like DRC, but DRC is way more expensive. It cost like double in terms of like logistical cost would be double. Um, Burundi, Rwanda, I've been to Rwanda, so I was like, I've already been. Obviously, I haven't filmed it this way, but I need to like, you know, maximize my time and go to countries I haven't been to. And then what else? Uh, I think he has like two other ones we can go to, but most, yeah, most of them are in East Africa. So I was like, you know what, let's go to Kenya. It's the easiest one to get to. We have a direct flight from Doha directly to Nairo Nairobi. This is the capital. Nairobi is the capital. A lot of people here. Lots of good food. This is real Africa. These are like real African markets. You're going to walk through and it's going to be like dirt market. It's not going to be like, you know, concrete, air conditioning. No, no. This is Africa. This is real stuff. So in terms of stuff I'm doing here, um, we have a really, really cool idea. Um, so it's Nairobi, three full days. And then four days, Mombasa. Mombasa is like the street food capital, and it's on the Indian Ocean. So we have a mix of street food here, and we have a lot of influence from India as well. So there's a lot of stuff here. If you guys don't know, Zanzibar is in Tanzania, and Zanzibar is hugely influenced by India. But this whole coastline was influenced by India because of the spice route. Okay, So if you guys don't know what the spice route is, that is the route from Europe around, uh, basically around the, the, the Horn of Africa. You go all the way down. You, you go... so. Sorry, I can't do Africa right now, but imagine Africa was like this. You go all the way from Europe all the way around, go around the Horn, and go all the way up the Indian Ocean until you get to Kerala. Kerala is the spice capital of the world. That is the God's own country. That's a state in India. I've been to it. Um, so from there, all the spices came. They went to Oman. They went to Yemen. They went to all these areas in Africa. So this whole area, this whole coastline, there's multiple places we're going to visit. We have four full days there. Um, so we're going to do... 
Mombasa plus a few different areas. He told me we'll, we'll like narrow it down, but there's so much that time permitting, you know, like we're just trying to maximize time. I told him the main thing is I don't want to be driving in a car seven hours one day and then seven hours another day. It makes no sense. We're making no content. Let's not do that. So in terms of how we're getting around, first, I think first two days are here because we, we need to be here the last day. So we'll do the third day we're going to do Nairobi on the last day um, just because we're coming from somewhere else. I think Mas, Masmara is over here. This is the Masmara tribe, Masaimara. I think that's how you call it. So this is where we're going to go. So three days, so two first days. Then we'll fly to Mombasa, only a one-hour flight less. Um, it's the most expensive way, but if because the thing is that we're going to do the train one time, so I was like, hey, let's not do the train twice. And he said, if you drive, it's going to take seven and a half hours. Train's four hours. Flight is one hour. So we'll do one time we fly. So me, so it's my guide, uh, the driver, who's going to be with us at all times, and then uh, Tasso, so four people. So we're going to be... In Nairobi, two full days, then we're gonna fly over to Mombasa. Four full days here. I told him try to get let's try to get the earliest flight on the third day. Just early. 6 a.m., get on the flight, sleep, and you go. Um, just the best way to save time, right? And then once we're there, we're gonna do four full days. On the way back, we'll take this train to Nairobi. And then from there we'll go into Masmara. Now Masmara, just to get there is five and a half hours uh, by car. So this is a total dead day, uh, the way we're looking at this day. But the train ride, I think, is a cool video. Probably do a live on that thing. We'll probably get a bunch of, a bunch of clips. I'm hoping I, there's not much to do on a train, and it, you're, you're full of a lot of people, right? And then when we get to Nairobi, we'll cross over to Masmara. That is probably a full day of just like... So that's, that'll be the eighth day, let's say. Eighth day. Uh, then it's two full days there. Like one day, all day tribe. One day, mix of tribe and, and like national park. Go we'll see some wildlife. Um, the cool thing is that we can see, we can see the wildlife, you know, early morning and then late afternoon. So the rest of the time we're with tribe. So it's more like let's do safari, probably do safari twice or three times maybe, and then tribe, 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 tribe. No, I don't want to do resort stuff, just pure tribe. And then that's basically it. So uh, then we'll come back to Nairobi, and then the last day in Nairobi we have like a super late flight that day. So we'll probably drive in the morning, get there by noon, and then just do the whole day from noon forward all in Nairobi. So that is the trip. As you can see, Kenya is huge. Unfortunately, I, I limit my trips to 12 days. Not unfortunately, I, I do it for my kids. But um, 12 days is the full journey, 10 days on the ground. That's all I can do and that's what we need to do because I don't need to go up here in all this area that, I mean, it's just more, more small markets, more travel stuff. I mean, we definitely wanted to do more travel stuff, but my guide is, is like, look, dude, the problem is all these tribes, they have stuff in Nairobi. So, like, we can go out here, spend the day flying, you know, or driving even. It takes, like, I don't know, 20 hours to get up here. So, you fly up here. You could do it. But we're going to do maybe two things, and it's going to cost a lot of money. So, to maximize content, to maximize time, we're sticking to this, which I think is a great trip. 94th country. I'm ready for some questions. Hit me. All right, you got a lot here since we're going for a while. I want to interrupt the flow. <clears throat> Do it. Uh, so, Sawisha says, I've been to Tanzania and you would love the Ruben people. Shelly S says, I enjoyed your visit to Guyana with Stacy. Guyanese. I'm Guyanese, man. Guyanese. Love you. Juan Luis de Valtier says, try the train that China built in Kenya. Okay, I'll try the train that China built. Perfect. Um, my Lord Prayag says, have a nice trip, David. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank uh, you, my Lord. So then we've got a few other little things here. Um, Maria Perez says, Nairobi is a nice place. I was there and it was at the Mazi Mara. I went on a safari and stayed at a resort by the Mara River. The best trip of my life. Enjoy your trip. Oh, it's amazing. That, that, that gets me super excited. What are you looking Incredible. for? What am I looking forward to most? I don't know. I, I've been really thinking about Nairobi a lot because I, I've 
heard about Nairobi many times in my life. My cousin, my Italian cousin is married to an Indian whose grandparents were one of the people who built the trains in Kenya. Um, so he's Kenyan, but not really because he's Indian descent, Punjabi. But uh, since then, over 20 years ago, I remember him talking about uh, Kenya in general. And I remember there, there is a restaurant called Carnivore that he was telling me about. And he was like, man, Carnivore. And it's still open to this day, but they changed a little bit of the gaming laws. So they don't have every single meat they used to have. They used to have everything. Crocodile. They had, he told me uh, donkey testicles. So like they had literally have every organ of every freaking animal that they can get their hands on. Uh, it's, it's a really, really wild uh, restaurant and I was always thinking about it and we might do it on this trip but they have changed the gaming laws so you're gonna get everything like they, like they used to right but uh, I think I'm just excited for to be back in Africa you know being in Africa is it's magical it really is magical waking up in the like in a national park and seeing the sunrise and hearing the animals there's nothing like it nothing like it on earth this will be I think this is my seventh time to Africa eighth country I think that's how I, or my sixth time to Africa, eighth country. I forget now. No, I've been multiple times to Morocco. So I've been twice to Morocco. So let's say this is my seventh time to Africa. I've done Morocco. I've done Ghana. So I've done that north, right? So by Spain, northern part of Africa, um, which is very different from the other part of Africa. So if you guys don't know about Africa, it's divided in two, right? It is literally divided in two. Let me show you guys what Africa looks like. We got a lot of questions, or? Yeah, man, whenever you're ready. Just show, shoot them. What are you looking forward to the most on the trip? Eh, hey, all of that meat. Can't wait for that meat. I don't know. This is something about Africa. It's like exciting. And I know, I know you guys are going to love the content, you know, especially now that we're changing it up and doing like sh lives and stuff. Um, but I, I don't know, I'm just super excited for this trip. When will you move to Jamaica? Please visit. Jamaica? We got a bobsled team. Oh, people, don't you say, say, no, no. Sorry, poor cool running. I was born in Trinidad, I lived in Barbados, but now I live here in London, UK. You did a very extensive trip in Trinidad and Guyana. Is there a reason that you didn't do videos on Barbados? A Barbados, uh, well, I'm releasing all my Barbados videos right now, so I actually, no, we don't have 10 more, uh, we have, oh man, did that export, I gotta send it to Brandon, um, it did? I mean, it Snap, guys, give me a second, I gotta send this, because I'm on a, I'm on a schedule today, a big schedule, time, a time, let just leave this, yeah. it'll take two seconds. Did I export? I don't think I ever exported. Oh no, I did export. All right, Brandon, coming in hot, just like a fajita. Right here. So this, I, I upload. Sorry, I like went off, but I have to. I have to. I got work. Work is so insane. No people say you know they can't believe. Stand by, folks. Stand by. Jamaica, we got a bobsled team. Hey, hey. And one junior, massa, oh fasa vena fasa vena na 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 Jamaica. Ah, Chafet. Hey, this is Rihanna's favorite fast food coming in hot. Hopefully tomorrow it drops. I don't know, maybe not tomorrow. What is this payment? People charge me. What is this? It's a lie. It's a lie. That's like a lie right there, bro. People are telling me that. Geek Squad. It's Geek Squad, man. Geek Squad. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. And I'm not my favorite group. Why would I pay that? I would never pay that. No. That's like uh, going to the Apple store, man. They What's wrong with people? Hey, where, where's my thing? All right, so it guys, some, hold on a sec. Take some weed for that. So Brandon, you got, you got Shafet. Just saying Shafet, 14 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to quickly say where I've been, so really fast, so I'm going to just show it. I've been to Morocco, I've been to Ghana, I've been to Rwanda. These are always, this is across the f past few decades. All right, South Africa I've been to. South Africa. I've been to Malawi. I've been to 
Hmm. Eswantini and Lesotho. I've been to two the two small countries. I I really wanted uh, Eswantini when I went was uh, Swaziland, but back then I really wanted to do the smaller African countries because you know I, I go in depth to each country, and this is what I've done: South Africa. Spent 32 days there. 32 days. Three days we're in Lesotho. So like 29 days in South Africa. A lot of driving. Crazy country. Amazing country. Eswantini. I went like eight days there. Then I went to Rwanda for eight days. Same trip. Flew down from Barcelona here. Went to this country. Then flew up to Rwanda. Then flew back down. Then flew back up. Crazy. That's how it is in Africa. That was one trip? That was one trip. Oh, wow, man. That's wild. Yeah, 20 days. That's a long trip. 20 days. 20 days. That's a lot of distance travel. I'm not going to lie. Well, I flew up here. Like, okay. after this trip, we flew and did this one. It, it used to be amazing doing countries like that. Like, 10 days one country. Yeah. Then dive into another country for another 10 days. Yeah. And then another 10 days. It's like crazy. Uh, Malawi spent 22 days there. So my ex-wife went with me to this one, this one, this one. Carlos de Verona, the guy who used to travel with me, came with me to South Africa and Lesotho. I went to Ghana alone. Carlos came with me here. My ex-wife came with me to Morocco. And now I'm going to Kenya, all right? So if you guys don't know about Africa, the hardest country to travel, it is the most expensive country to travel. It is the most underdeveloped continent to travel. Sorry, I said I was saying country, but I meant continent. Um, it is the most difficult well, to travel. I like Antarctica. No, no, no. Antarctica, you just pay for the cruise, bro, and you're good. No, I'm saying the most undeveloped continent. Oh, undeveloped, yeah, but I just mean like <laughs> there, there, there's so many places in Africa where it's like, what? We got dirt roads for 18 hours? Yeah. Like, did you just say 18? I remember when I was in Malawi, when we had like a nine, nine hour drive, 12 hour drive, that was a normal thing. I was like, are you? Dude, we went, we went 22 days. You know why we went 22 days? Because we had to factor in every transfer was like a day lost. Oh, absolutely. It was like a day lost, right? It's too much. So. Being Rocky. I will go to Tanzania, I promise you. If it's in 2023 or 2024, I don't know. <coughs> really depends. Wow, I'm having a bad, a bad cough today. Right now. Why? <coughs> Nate, everyone can hear you. <laughs> all right, all right, Nate. Tell him to come back. <laughs> all right. All right, so, so I'm going to Kenya on this one, but um, my next five years, next five years for me, what I'm going to do is focus heavily on Africa. So this is the country, or the, sorry, the continent, 57 countries in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So how much is left? It's a lot of countries to go. Forty-nine, right? Can you put the camera closer to the board so we can? Better? I believe so. I mean, I, I rose like really bad here. That says Morocco. Horrible. But I've done so I've done different pieces of Africa, right? This is my first time going to real East Africa. Rwanda's more like central east. Um, it's not on the East African Rift, right? And then Malawi, that's another one that's, uh, I don't even know how you would call it, what, where is that located, but if you guys don't know Africa, over here we have a shit ton of countries. There's a lot of countries like Burkina Faso and Mali and these that I can't go to uh, for sure because too many, too much terrorism or uh, activity in these areas. So there's a few I can't go to on the coast, Nigeria's in the cards right now. Togo and Benin are also up there to eventually go to because they're super easy to me just to add two more under the belt. Um, 
then we have Mozambique over here. We have Botswana. We have Namibia. We have Zambia. We have Zimbabwe, um, Angola. Then you get into these wilder countries like Equatorial Guinea, uh, Gabon, DRC. Um, this is too much. Everywhere you look, there's another country. Again, there's, like I said, 57 official countries here. So I know for the next five years, this is where I should be, you know, focusing way more on. Asia's been overdone. There's only a few countries on my list for Asia that I really, really want to go. And right now I'm focusing obviously on elevating my business and growing the business, right? So this is Wild West. This is where I need to go. This is where I think I need to focus way more on. And I see in the numbers, people want to see me in Africa. People want to see this white guy go into these places and respect the people. They want to see that. So that's what I'm going to focus on heavily. So I got Kenya now. And then next year, Nigeria, uh, Senegal's up there, the Gambia's up there, um, Tanzania's up there, we got Burundi up there, Uganda, if they come back from this, you know, at least if this like completely goes away for a long time, I, I mean, but Ebola is nothing to play with, right? So that's what I, I'm seeing over the next few years, way more of this. Uh, this is the content people want to see me do, you know? So I'm really thinking about where I can go. I'm planning a lot of these trips internally in my head, looking at them, studying them, seeing what's there to do, how much days I need, et cetera. So just wanted to let you guys know that because, you know, South America, I'm not going to really do too much South America, maybe one country a year, maybe, maybe, because the Latin American thing is not really working for me. And I'm also thinking about when I start buying apartments that those will be, those will be like one trip was replaced for me to go to this country and buy an apartment and set it all up, you know? <coughs> The flight's journey? Uh, I don't do that anymore. Uh, I, I'm, the only way to do that is for somebody to come with me and then they film the whole thing. I can't, I can't. The, the flight for me now is my rest. That's, <laughs> that's when I relax. So like last night, I slept like four hours, got here five in the morning, edited American Reacts to Bhutanese food, exported that, uploaded that, it's ready, scheduled, we are done. And um, the only time I get to relax is once I'm on that flight. And you guys want me to go live at the airport. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know if I want to go live at the airport. I'm tired. That's when I want to relax, have my champagne, have some good food and chill, you know? Especially when I'm running and I have to like make sure I'm studying because right now I'm studying the dishes, trying to understand what I'm going to eat there. Going to eat a lot of meat, a lot of, a lot of like barbecue, but Kenyan style, right? Thank you, bro. Thank you. So are we at 60 minutes yet? <coughs> good morning, good morning. So for past 60 minutes, I'm gonna have to. 64 minutes. Okay, so let's let's start the closing. Let's let's get some questions. Let me let me see. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because I do have an eight hour layover. I will be tired. When are you playing the Bahrain visit? Bahrain very soon, but I already have my guide and no one's replacing her. <laughs> she's she's too too gorgeous. Too gorgeous. Lives from Kenya? What do you guys think? Lives from Kenya? You guys wanna see the lives? Lives from Kenya? I don't know. I'm thinking I might not go live. Yeah, yeah, the cool thing is that with the lives that I can literally just talk about anything. Right? Although while you're there, I feel like you can talk about what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. So while I'm there, I was thinking these are the different live ideas, right? Live ideas. Yeah. Traveling. I show Moscow everywhere I go that is a Muslim place, you know, Muslim state. I always do. What are you talking about? You want to see more of it is what you're saying, right? More, Traveling.
Yeah, can you? I have a lot from uh, Minority there as well. So I hope you guys can read this. This is live ideas. So there's a few different live ideas I have. The hard thing is when we're filming like, and we're going hard, it's hard to say, okay, now I'm going to go live. Unless like I'm literally shooting like, and it's a long scene at a table. Maybe there we can go live, but this is hard because I'm not going to be able to really be looking at camera and answering questions. This is the hard thing about these trips, right? Uh, so we're thinking live should be like more of a journey thing, you know, like, so while I'm driving in Kenya from place to place, maybe I go live, you know, hopefully the internet stays, you know, we gotta, we gotta hope for that. <coughs> I mean, it could be while you're doing stuff. I mean, it doesn't have to be like... Well, yeah. So that's what I was going to say, like, Let's say like we're at a market and we're going through. I can literally just go live with my second phone. The hard thing is that it's like literally he has to use my phone to go live because Tassos has my two other phones. So I have to give the phone to my guide and set it up like this without the mic. And it's going to be more far away and it's not going to be perfect sound. That's the only thing like without this mic because I'm going to have my mic on from my big camera. That's the, the styles we're thinking, right? They, he'll come and then we'll walk through place and you'll see like this market. And we're thinking also the, these lives are like other videos, right? They're just like another video and they continue to get views uh, over time. So we're trying to make things that people really want to watch, right? So that's what I'm thinking. You know, every time we're in a live, uh, try to go live for a little while, even 20 minutes, even 20 minutes so you guys can see what we're doing, right? Q and A's, these are the easy ones. This is like morning or night, you know, or, or like while I'm on the train, you know? The train one is cool though, that's, that's part of traveling. So I'm doing a four hour train ride from Mombasa to Nairobi. So I was thinking of doing uh, that one live too. At least for a certain portion of it, I'm just, I'm just hoping the internet doesn't keep failing because once it fails and then it, it ends, then you start a new live, that, that sort of sucks. A Greek solo is here. A Greek solo. Tassos. Tassos. Guys, follow Tassos. Follow Tassos. Follow, follow this. Yeah, I'll tease it. Guys, follow a Greek solo. Follow him. He's coming with me. And release videos, Tassos. We're all waiting, though. Your fans, your true fans. They're waiting for you to release some videos, Tassos. Your true fans are waiting, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nate's like, Tassos hasn't released a video in a long time on his YouTube channel. And you're releasing five times a day. I know, I know. Uh, so, Tassos is here. Great Tassos. Excited, bro. See you very soon. I'm going to be dead when I get there, though. It's okay. 27 hour journey. Hey, you know, there's been a bad bug. I caught it like, I caught it one day that it felt bad. And then since then, it's been like every day my throat. I've been doing everything possible to make this throat this cough go away before this flight because I don't want to be coughing on a plane. Then I have to be on a trip and on the trip I'm not going to get that much rest. Uh, first day, I'm ending. If I'm not done in my bed by 8, everybody's going to be fired. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but yeah, the kids are good. The kids are good. Um, I'm not worried. I'm with Africans, man. I'm good. I'm not going there alone. I'm with locals. That's what I mean by Africans. I'm with people from there. So it's going to be good. I'm, I'm never scared when I'm with the locals. If I'm alone, then you'd put yourself in a different type of situation. And Tassos knows this firsthand from, well, Ukraine, because he went to Ukraine during war, but, uh, but also in Iraq. Like, man, without the locals, you couldn't even probably pass at one of these checkpoints. Crazy. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, I'm writing it down right here. I hope I spell. I hope I have enough for this. Okay, so basically just intro, voice over an outro, right? So you guys, 
No, I love the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever comes out very soon. God rest, uh, rest in peace, um, Chadwick Boseman, uh, who's not in the movie. You know, if you guys don't know, the, the actor who played Black Panther passed away. I think it's been already two years or something. I don't even... right and um so wakanda is a fake place it's not real right but they say it's somewhere in there by kenya by uganda somewhere we don't know they didn't really show it perfectly on the map they only see it one time i think in iron man 2 or iron man 3 when you see it on the map that it says wakanda and he has a circle on it that's the only time i've ever seen it but besides that like on the map but besides that you know we don't know where it is where it should be besides that <laughs> but uh so it's african dishes so i was thinking of making a video like what do Wakandans eat? You guys know that's it's not a real place, it's a fictional place. Um, but, you know, this is sort of what we think they would eat, right? So I went to Ghana, that I have a great footage from Ghana, and I ate so many things like fufu, kenke, tilapia. Oh man, so, so many delicious dishes. And then I'm gonna have a lot of amazing stuff in Kenya. So with that, we could put together something really, really beautiful, right? So I did a video for Miss Marvel, and we're trying to do this for like almost every movie that comes out. The, the hard thing, with Marvel is that no one really eats in their movies or their shows. Everybody's starving. Well, they eat, but you just don't see it, right? Um, so, that being said... Uh -oh, you got lost audio. Why? They didn't hear what you said, is what they're saying now. How? I'm not sure. Test, test? Someone was calling you. It's on? It's on? Yeah, this must have been the... So, what, someone called you so how much did they not get? Uh, let's see. Well, basically, we're going to make a video showing what Wakandans eat. Wakanda is a fake place, but we're going to show African dishes from both my trips to Ghana and to Kenya. Both those trips combined, lots of dishes. We're going to tease what Wakandans eat. Okay, so that's like it's pure intro, walking like into a market, and then outro. And that's it. And then the rest of it is pure voiceover, us showing people what Wakandans eat. Um, I don't know. Sounds interesting, right? I like it, and we're trying to get Marvel to, to invite me to the premieres, right? Come on, Marvel, Disney, I'm here. I'm watching Andor. By the way, Andor is awesome. Andor is my favorite Star Wars show. Yeah, cool, man. I watched one episode so far. Dude, <laughs> I, I thought Obi-Wan Kenobi was my favorite, but this show is, is, it just shows so many different aspects of the Empire. This one is is like, dude, it's like people being enslaved. This is nuts, you know? Like, it's nuts. There's much more development. You already know where they're going with this because it all ends in Rogue One. Um, but this is great because it shows you, like, how this all happened to get to Rogue One and basically everything that you see. I'll, uh, it all. No? Yeah, it's unplugged. Should be able to. It's done. Even if it goes plugged in, it's done. It's, the camera's done. Why? It's on. It's on. It's back? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, because you don't plug it, it's fine. Okay, here, then I guess. Who knows? Uh, when you're going, you're going. When I'm going, going to Kenya, I'll be there soon. Uh, but yeah, 94th country, super excited, super grateful. Uh, can't believe it. this is another one, another one. Getting ready for it. Um, when I look at that wall behind that I'll show right now. That uh, gets me a little nervous. <laughs> Another trip, my God. Too many trips, guys. But uh, I'm very grateful to be here. Very grateful to have you here. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'm excited. I'll be coming at you live from the airport from Qatar, Qatar International, Hamad, Hamad International? I forgot the name. Man, that's bad that I forgot because I know the airport very well. I know exactly where everything is. A through J or A through F. <laughs> I, I'm forgetting that. I think I'm always in a hurry. And then when I'm not in a hurry, I'm always in the lounge, which is the best lounge on earth. Best lounge on earth. I'm going to come at you live from there. I want to show you. Hopefully, we have good internet. I'm praying for that. So I'm going to show you uh, the Qatar Airways lounge. 
I'll be there for eight hours, so I'll probably do an hour live, uh, maybe with some food and show you what the lounge looks like. And then after that, I'll be headed straight to Kenya. And then we start the journey to Africa. Another one, man, another one. Best thing about Africa, I'll tell you right now, before I let you go, the sunrise and the sunset, gotta see them every time, every day, try. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. I'll see you very soon. All right.